Welcome back everyone. Another video on the San Build Alfonso. Picking up where I left off on the last video, I've blanked the deck. Now I'm trimming a bit of the excess and I'm going to put the, the piece here on the aft on the small deck. I hope you all enjoy the video. Now I'm preparing some pieces of wood that will serve as a trim around the opening of the the opening on the on the top deck. These will be painted white with the chipping effects to match the ones that are already on the ship. I start by staining. I'm using walnut stain. After staining, the next step is to apply a coat of matte varnish. The purpose of this coat is to seal the wood so that the next step, the chipping fluid, will not be absorbed by the wood. Once the varnish has dried, I apply a coat, a generous coat of chipping fluid. And now, with the chipping fluid dry, I'm painting it white. White is a very, it's a color that chips very easily. So, many times I do this with airbrush. I'm doing it with a brush now, because it's white and it's very easy to chip. On colors that don't chip that easily, usually darker colors don't chip that easily, I advise to and I always use the airbrush so that they can have a thinner coat of paint. Since it's white, there's no big problem in using, in using airbrush. Once the paint has dried, I use a brush with stiff bristles and tap water and I start doing the chipping effect.
before gluing those pieces of wood that I prepared, uh, I'm staining these edges and I will paint also some of this. Some of this will be covered with, uh, with gratings. Some will be exposed, but I'm, I'm staining everything and painting the parts that will be showing. Any excess that is showing on the deck can be sanded and removed that way. Now I'm painting these sides. I only painted between the, the beams, but in reality, the, the spaces left unpainted are openings that will have stairs. I'm not sure if I will paint it afterwards or not. I will see how it looks after everything is done. But at this point, I only painted between the beams. I'm trying to only stipple paint to keep it look like chipped. Uh, if you think you have too much paint, you can rub your finger on it and it will remove some excess. And I don't want it to be fully painted because it has too much. The, the remaining beams, the ones that I painted and I will do after and the ones that are already there. Now I will glue the pieces that I've done the chipping effects on. Now the side pieces, uh, a decision needs to be made here. Having these pieces will make it a bit harder to, to place the cannons. But, and I've seen people advising to place the cannons before placing these pieces. Honestly, I did some testing and uh, even though it's harder to place the cannons, I think placing these pieces with the cannons in place, it's nearly impossible. I still think it's better to place these pieces before the cannons. Now for the final, the top piece of the work with the gun ports. I've dipped the, the wood in water to bend it a bit more easy. Uh, I will just glue it in place and I will use some nails to help.
now I'm filing down the transition between these two pieces. Make sure it's relatively smooth so that the, the blanks will lay flat without enough surface where to glue on. There can't be any step here. For the aft piece, I will also glue it. And in this side, I will be using filler to smoothen the gap between the two pieces instead of filing. Then I simply repeat the process on the other side. This is where I will end today's video. I hope you all have enjoyed. I'll leave you with some pictures of how everything turned out at this point. Leave a like, leave a comment. Please consider subscribing.